Hi, this is Scott Vaughn with Create Your Next Customer. And I'm here today with Cornelius Willis, the Vice President of Global Enterprise Marketing at VMware. And we're gonna dig in a little bit to uh, what you guys are doing in terms of marketing. It's a fast moving, fast paced change out there. Tell me a little bit about what are the three, four main market drivers that you're seeing that are really shaping your go-to-market strategy at VMware? So a couple of big things. Um, the first one is just the ongoing need for efficiency. And we're starting to see a shift there from capital expense efficiency to operational expense efficiency. Mm -hmm. The second big thing is consumerization of IT. And this is a phrase that a lot of people throw around. It's really a lot bigger than most people think. It's not just about new devices. It's really about a new set of expectations, a demographic shift in the workforce, and really a mentality around, you know, I want it now, I want what I want. And the third thing that really you know, is an umbrella over all these, is the incredible accelerating rate of change that everyone is dealing with. You know, you and I and yeah. everybody experiences this in their jobs. How do we respond to competitors that appear and disappear, workforces that shift, um, you know, national politics that change, regulations that change. All those sort of accelerating change factors are things that businesses have to respond to. Yeah, you say expectations, it's such a great word that there's this new set of demands. I really like that. How is that translating from market drivers into programs? And what are you guys doing at VMware in terms of go-to-market programs, marketing channels, those kinds of things? You know, we, we, like any large enterprise software company, we're prosecuting our plans across all kinds of dimensions. So we have, um, you know, events, we have awareness, we have social media, lots and lots of things going on. I'd say the big changes going into the next year are, first of all, um, a global awareness campaign that we've launched. Um, you've probably seen this in airports or have, on, yeah. on, uh, on uh, you know, outside display ads, really connecting um, the journey to cloud computing and what that means for, for customers in, in uh, really accessible terms. So big emphasis on awareness, kind of a new thing for our company. The second thing I'd say is um, really doubling down on customer insight, right? So um, ongoing research into how customers are using our technology, what the benefits they're realizing, the impediments they're running into, and how those can be overcome. And doing that in conjunction with um, our partners, both in the enterprise space as well in the small and medium business space. I also see how you're communicating. You're kicking back what you're learning from customers. You right. see come back to other customers, which is brilliant. And oh, by the way, the awareness piece, the brand piece, we hear from our enterprise customers, your customers, the IT decision makers, all the time how much, I don't know what that company stands right. for anymore. So great and applaud those efforts. So speaking of uh, some of the initiatives you have, tell us a little bit about, you've got a pretty aggressive research initiative around business agility and the journey to the cloud. Can you tell us a little bit about that and how that plays in your sales and marketing? Sure, so we noticed about uh, a little over a year ago that the dialogue in the market around cloud computing had shifted from um, cost economics to a discussion around business agility and increased competitiveness um, increased ability to respond to changing market conditions, right? And so that fundamental shift um, really kicked off a research project for us to understand better what the market is actually talking about when they use these these terms like agility that are very abstract. Yeah, we throw a lot of terms around. Right, yeah. right. But you know what you find is when you dig into that, that different people, different sort of job titles mean different things when they use that terminology. So um, we worked with uh, our, uh, our partners, McKinsey and Company, to um, come up with a framework and a way of talking about agility that makes sense and bridges the divide between the IT organization and the businesses it serves, right? So that IT leadership can talk about their investments in cloud computing, their investments in technology generally in ways that business leaders will respond to. And um, you know, that's been the cornerstone of a number of pieces of communication that we've launched this year and more into 2012. Yeah, I like how you're just wrapping it all and tying it all together. So speaking of that, you really focused a lot on solutions marketing and in your global enterprise marketing role. What does that mean? What do you do? <laughs> How's that? So solutions marketing is really an up leveling of our message, of our sales methods, our marketing methods. Um, if you think about VMware historically, um, it's been a very strong technology franchise, right? Yeah. And really sold to the practitioners. And uh, you know, the in incredible success there that we're very grateful for, but a lot of it due to the allegiance of our technical audience. With an expanding product line and really a desire um, on our part to shift from a technology company to a company that's driving IT transformation, that means we have to be able to have a dialogue with higher levels in the organization, have that be more meaningful, and really um, 
you know, develop the evidence and again the sales and marketing techniques to enable that to, to happen. And solutions marketing is really the comprehensive set of programs and messages that drive that. So, um, you know, we have executive outreach programs, we have the research that we've been discussing in this conversation, um, and also just a, a broad program of sales training for our existing sales resources and also for our partner resources. So pull it all the way through the uh, value chain, if you will, exactly. as you go to market. Well, it's such a big difference because I think everybody knows VMware is such a strong technology company and a great ecosystem. And I, I like the way you're not leaving your existing customer base behind, right. but migrating. Right, this is completely accretive, right? This is not a displacement of the way that we work with the practitioner audience today, because of course that's where the strength of our franchise is. But it's growing that and, and having a relationship now with the executive audience. So I have a, a question related to that. I always get asked this. So you're in the tech and IT industry and you're in marketing and we our createyournextcustomer.com is all about how can we serve tech marketers. Right. How much technical or technology competence do you think marketers need to have today to be successful with enterprise uh, software companies like yours? Great question. And you know, it, it of course it just depends, right? I'm a strong believer in that you really need to know what you're selling. If yeah. you're a salesperson, if you're marketing, if you're if you can write the copy, you better know what it's about. Right. That said, what's interesting is the range of technical skills and technical in the sense of marketing techniques, right. the range of technical skills required to actually be successful in this field has really grown. Yeah. You know, everything from quantitative analysis to um, you know tracking social media trends to uh, you know all the direct response disciplines all those have become much much more important in recent years as we have so much more data to work with you know really you know l literally terabytes of instrumentation coming off of websites yeah. coming off of events all the different investments we make being able to deal with that as a whole discipline unto itself and it's interesting really how you know our our profession has changed really in the last yeah, 4 or 5 years yeah that's that's a great analogy i never thought of it that way that because technology is driving marketing today, what you have is some natural technology right. comfort and understanding, maybe not on every detail inside the data center, or inside the chip, but right. you really have a, a more comfort level with that. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, I was thinking about this too. You do a lot of executive outreach. Yeah. Uh, uh, you use the Information Week 500 conference. Right. Tell us about how you use these kinds of programs in your marketing. The thing about this kind of event is it is the right audience for an executive level message. You know, I think about um, the Information Week 500. Exactly, the uh -huh. Information Week 500. It's it's the the right group of folks, but with the right set of concerns. You know, I think about the agenda for the conference here, and it really it just dovetails with the things that we're hearing from our executive customers. Their sets of concerns that. Um, the, the things that they're grappling with on a day-to-day -day basis. How do I reorganize to be more agile? How do I serve my business customers more effectively? Um, what are some of the people process or, uh, and organizational changes I need to make? Um, very different, really, if you think from the practitioner audience, yeah. which is you know, a, another big chunk of our, our marketing budget and our focus. But when we think about up-leveling, this is a great example of a, of a program that we can tie into to accomplish that. Yeah, raise the level of conversation and in the entry point of this conversation right. is, is different. Well, Cornelius, thank you very much for sharing your insights with uh, Create Your Next Customer and uh, all of the tech marketers out there. And best of luck uh, at VMware in, in your role. Thank you. All right.